I don't care about your salad numbers, and neither should you. I recently made a video about Graham's number, a number so mind-bottlingly huge that there's no way to encode its digits in the observable universe. And so many comments said something along the lines of, yeah, but what about Graham's number squared, or things along those lines. What these commenters are missing is that there's a reason people care about Graham's number at all. It's because it's useful. What all of these commenters provided were examples of salad numbers, so-called because they're just a mishmash of numbers to make bigger ones. But these salad numbers are wholly uninteresting. Yes, we all know that you can double whatever number you want and you end up with something bigger, but if there's no significance to the number, why should anyone be interested in talking about it? Graham's number has significance because it appears in serious mathematics. In particular, Graham's number was an upper bound to the solution of a particular problem in Ramsey theory, which itself is a branch of combinatorics. Notably, in proving this upper bound, Graham showed that the problem has a solution. It was somewhere between 6 and what we now call Graham's number. That the number was enormous wasn't really the important part, it's just curiosity. Whether it was large or small, that number would have had significance regardless. That's the only reason that numbers get names, when they are important, and notably, being large is not particularly important. So this is all to say, no, you don't get to name a number just because you wrote Graham's number plus one.